Welcome to Gon's Keyboard Works. Today I'm going to show you how to install A356 controller to 456GT PCB. Uh, first of all, you, you've, you've got to uh, solder all the SMD parts uh, onto the PCB. If you uh, have a already assembled uh, plate and PCB and switches module. Uh, what you what you all what all you have to do is just to desolder the main MCU uh, with all the other SMD parts are uh, still soldered. Don't remove the other parts. Okay. First of all. Uh, uh, at first, I designed this module to easily install icon control to this board with this kind of pin header. But I didn't know that the hole in this MCU position is still smaller than I expected. So you cannot directly insert the pin header into the holes. Well, so I have to I have to change the way. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to make the holes a little bit bigger. With, uh, I I recommend you to use this kind of tweezers. Use tweezers and uh, what make it a little bit wider. Make the holes a little bit bigger. You need to do this just four holes four uh, in the four corners at the four corners uh, you have to uh, widen the holes four holes and then uh, insert this pin this pin uh, insert the four pins at the four holes that you uh, had already widened. Okay. Hmm. Then after that, place the the controller this way. As you see, this is to position the controller on the right side, right position. Uh, then you have to you have to press down the pins, four pins. Uh, press down the pins so that no pin is can be filled with your finger. Okay. Four pins. You have to press down the four pins, all the pins. Then uh, solder. Then for a solder on this side, uh, you have to add proper amount of solder, solder wire, because if you have a like a bubble, like a mountain, this solder mountain, solder bubble will contact the upper side of the housing, aluminum housing. That will cause some kind of short circuit. That can damage your uh, control board or uh, other SMD parts. So solder four pins with a proper amount of solder wire. Then flip the board module uh, with your hand supporting the controller. Cut off, cut off with a strong nipper. Cut off the four pins. Then solder the four pins to uh, fix fix 
at that position now now more than half is finished now you gotta use this kind of LEDs or others are all the they can like a wire stiff wire is good all, all you can use all the kinds of stiff wires uh, insert this LED but don't insert it this step just leave the enough amount of leads because after you solder back solder after you solder at the back of the PCB you have to cut off the leads cut off the LEDs as close as possible you have to make a clean cut all the pins should be cut off without any uh, any pin left so so uh, this this left pins left part of pins will not make short circuit Okay, you will have to solder 46, I mean, 36 points. Then, after you solder the, all the 36 points, solder at the back of the PCB, then cut off, first cut off, not solder, cut off the LEDs, then solder, solder at the point with proper amount of solder wire so that it will not make solder bubbles solder bubbles will make your uh, controller uh, will make your uh, have will take your controller in trouble because solder bubbles will make a kind of short circuit okay now it's all finished I've already Flashed the form here with a already a key maps for 456 GT keyboard. So all you have to do is just to connect your cable with a PS2 USB gender changer, not a converter. Com converter contains a kind of PCB and a circuit, but just a gender changer. It doesn't have circuit in it, and it's very cheap. It's uh, I'm gonna show you what it is. It's like uh, oh sorry, uh, I can't find it, but it's very cheap. Uh, it's about just one dollar. One dollar to two dollars will be enough to buy it. Okay. Or you can change change the cable to USB cable. But when you change your cable, you have to be very careful because uh, uh, the the order the order is a the order of USB connection is a little bit different from that of PS2 because first pin is VCC. And the last pin is ground, but the second one and the third one is the order is different. In the PS2, in PS2 connection, the first pin is VCC, then clock, then data. But in USB, first one VCC, then then data data minus then data plus so you have to flip the second and third order so if you uh, connect the USB cable to this PCB first you have to solder the first pin VCC then the second pin is second second wire the no wire number two is D minus or data minus you have to solder this pin not to 
clock, but to data. Then the third USB pin, so-called data plus, you have to solder this wire to the second point, clock. And the fourth, the last pin is ground. Yes, this VCC and ground have the same order between PS2 and USB. So the solder, the last, the fourth wire to ground. Now all is finished. Before you connect the uh, connector, if you have a uh, multimeter or other kind of tester, you have to, I recommend you to test before make a connection because if VCC and ground are changed each other, this will burn. Actually, it will burn your uh, condensers or uh, controller. So, if you uh, make a uh, right, correct connection and correct uh, assembly, all now, now all is finished. Just enjoy USB connection of 456 GT keyboard. Okay. Thanks for uh thanks for watching. See you.